they certainly are also a lady in the field for the first time and well not a brilliant start by De Resta from what we can see somebody uh, was in the wrong gear at the start I think but uh, at the start it's Degrassi who goes into the front and uh, Banner Motorsports certainly got a very good setup here now this is always a tricky corner tight right lots of runoff Degrassi goes too yes. wide he's down to third then Lucas Degrassi too quick into the first corner that drops him to third place. The yellow car look as well of Hannes Neuhauser away quickly. Diving up on the inside. Then Degrassi trying to make oh. a band. There's all sorts of dramas. Well, dearie me. And, uh, Lewis Hamilton's involved, I think, isn't he? Number yeah. one, Lewis Hamilton. Well, he was the uh, innocent victim there. And Paul De Resta is the one that's been spun around. So the pole position man, Paul De Resta, trying to rejoin. And so while all that's been going on, it's Adrian Sutil who won at Spa by default after Hamilton was excluded, who leads from De Grassi. And then Frank Pereira, I think it is, up into third place. No, sorry, Kohai Hirati indeed. Uh, it is in third place. The Japanese driver goes superbly well here. An explosive first lap and, uh, well, that's the uh, first real drama we've seen Hamilton have for a long while. I think in a way it was all caused by De Grassi going wide here a lap ago. They're trying to slot back into the pack. Look at this as they all dive into the hairpin. Very, very wide approach, a very tight corner, and you can see just how much overtaking that induces. And there, I think Sebastian Vettel trying to make ground up on the inside of Fabio Carboni there. Sebastian Vettel's Red Bull racing livery car goes through. Two more trying to get it together there. Look as they go through turn one. I think one of those is Attila Abroy making up ground. And Marco Bonanomi, his teammate there, also striving to gain a pace, which he does. Whoops, cars everywhere. James Ross is a look number four on the inside, trying to squeeze through. He's right on the tail of Bonanomi as they go around that tight right-hand hairpin. And there is uh, Attila Abru making his uh, pass there on the number 16 car of uh, Nunes. Lucas de Grassi then in second position, trying to go after Sutil and indeed doing the best lap of the race there. Somebody else, Andrew, that's worth keeping an eye to, I think, possibly is James Rossiter, who's working his way up the order as best he can. And Lewis Hamilton also, you caught a glimpse of him there, he's again, number one, Lewis Hamilton working his way up through the field. Yeah, there's a number of people in German motorsport that really think Vettel could be their next uh, bet for Formula One. He's come out of Formula BMW, which he won last year, still a teenager. And here is Hamilton showing his style and uh, tenacity here after that disappointment, working his way up through the field. Thomas Holtz are the man he's about to get past, through he goes. The race leader is Adrian Sutil, there. second is Lucas de Grassi. Big gap between them and Hirati, who is third, Hannes Neuhauser. It is in fourth place, Loic Duval fifth, Frank Pereira is sixth. So Hirati in third place, de Grassi is second, and Adrian Sutil currently leading. And Hamilton now, look at this, up into 13th position, going tremendously well. All fired up and equally, de Grassi for my money, Andrew, is getting closer all the time to the leader here. Well, this race scheduled for 23 laps, but as you can see, the clock ticking away and the races last for half an hour or the number of laps, dependent upon which comes first. And it now looks as though we are not going to quite go the full distance. We're into the last seven and three quarter minutes of the race. But Adrian Sutil here, despite the proximity of Degrassi's car behind him, is driving a very impressive race, Andrew. He's not cracked under the pressure yet, has he? And so too is Hamilton looking, he's about to try to make his move there, but again, I'm afraid he's just unable to quite get alongside Nunez, possibly being held up a little bit. And Hamilton now discovering, of course, how awkward it is to ever take in Formula 3. The man with the backing of the McLaren F1 team, and also the Mercedes management taking a very, very close interest. Sebastian Vettel just ahead of him there was looking to try to gain ground. Hamilton is going to have to go the long way around here as Nunez moves across. Then Hamilton will duck up the inside. Is this going to work for him when he gets his nose in front? But he's on the outside for the next corner. And Nunez then stays his ground and resolutely defends that position. Sits in the middle of the road. Look, he's not doing anything dirty here, but Nunez defending very, very well. But uh, Paul De has been uh, setting a fast pace, uh, David, since he got back into the race, although a lap behind has recorded a 123.1 and that's the fastest lap of the race but this is another trophy he can put in the cabinet a victory then for his driver Adrian Sutil and Lewis Hamilton ends up in 12th place yeah Hamilton will probably beat himself up there because if he'd been uh, on the front row of the grid he wouldn't got involved in that incident puffs of smoke revs are rising they drop the clutch and I think it was uh, it was uh, De Grassi who got the best start. What's it going to be down into this very tricky first hairpin bend? 
Hamilton having a go on the inside look. They're almost three wide with Vettel, I think, having a go on the outside line. Hamilton goes through and there's contact because, oh dear, De Grassi gets involved. De Resta was involved in that as well. Yeah, De Resta far too quick at the inside. There's another spinner in the middle of the pack and De Grassi, I'm afraid, oh, there's more contact look off there. One of them, I think, is James Rossiter, Andrew. And the other one, Danny Watts. Oh, dearie me, the two Brits eliminate themselves. And whilst all that's been going on, Lewis Hamilton has picked his way through the melee to lead from Adrian Sutil, third by the look of it is Marco Bononomi. And I've got a feeling that we are not yet clear of all the incidents because you can see the next gaggle of cars pouring through the hairpin. Very, very close indeed with that of Alroy trying to make ground. So Hamilton leading, second is Sutil, third is Bononomi, fourth is Vettel, fifth is Franchi, and then sixth is Lotte Duval, seventh is Guido van der Garde. And a very dramatic first couple of corners, but the two Mana Motorsport teammates, I think, are going to be given a pretty stern talking to by John Booth, the team boss at the end of this race, because De Resta far too fast into the first corner, and as a result of that, there was contact that's eliminated De Grassi. Well, he would have thought his cousin Dario Franchitti would have told him about that. So, what a... Oh, dear, another one spinning. Didn't quite catch that one, David, at the back of the field. Lucas de Grassi in the pits, Lucas de Grassi out of the race, Lucas de Grassi not at all impressed, and here is why. Lewis Hamilton, look, up on the inside, he takes the lead, but de Resta with it all locked up up the inside, just glances off de Grassi's car, de Grassi then rides over de Resta's rear wheel. You can see the spectators in the grandstand also bracing themselves for the wet weather that's coming. Meantime, this is the battle going on for third place. Marco Bononomi with Sebastian Vettel going ahead of him now. Vettel goes through. And look behind them, you'll see that Guido van der Garde is now up into fifth place. So, at the front, David. Car's certainly already spread out with the uh, ASM team. Looking and spots very of, good. Sorry, Andrew, yeah, spots of rain what on the camera that? lens there. That's van der Garde oh, on the curve and off he goes. 100 miles an hour too fast. <laughs> <laughs> Now, is that because he's getting a bit slippery as much as too much speed into the corner? I reckon the circuit is getting a bit greasy now. And just look at the way that Hamilton is pulling away in these rather tricky conditions. Now, Vettel in third place. I just wonder whether he might be able to do something now about Sutil because he's trying to pull away, isn't he, from the two cars behind in the Prima Power Team cars of Bononomi and Franchi, but I reckon that there is a chance here uh, for the third place man, Sebastian Vettel, to close on Sutil for second place, and there an effort being made by Kohai Hirati, up on the inside, through he goes to get ahead of Guido Moro, that was a good move, a good clean move as well. Yes, it was excellent move by the Japanese, bolstered by his third place on Saturday. Lewis Hamilton leads after 14 of the scheduled 21 laps here at the Nürburgring. The second of the two races on this big DTM weekend. It's the Formula 3 Euro Series, the series which has been dominated this year by Hamilton. But of all his victories, David Allison, this looks as it's going to be one of the most comprehensive. Yes, he's had a little bit of a scare mid-race in the sense that the conditions changed slightly, the circuit became greasy, but the sun is shining once again, and Hamilton is absolutely trouncing the opposition. And here you can see a spin, I'm afraid, for Greg Franchi, who was enjoying his best race in the Euro Series ever, as far as he was concerned, but having that spin, which loses him at least two places. The race order is Lewis Hamilton leading, Adrian Sutil was second, but has Sebastian Vettel been able to get ahead of him out of sight, because Vettel coming out of the chicane, looking as though he might there, have been able to gain some ground. We're almost at the end of the race as well now, 23 laps or 30 minutes, depending on which is reached first. But Sebastian Vettel is now up into second place, and Vettel once again underlining the fact that he is indeed one of Germany's brightest hopes. Tremendous track record and reputation in his karting days, came into car racing in Formula Renault. Had two seasons in that and won the British Championship. Two seasons in Formula 3, won the Bahrain Super Prix at the end of last year and really has been the benchmark driver this season. If you beat Lewis Hamilton in the F3 Euro Series, you know you've had a good day. Oh, you most certainly do, but uh, nobody's going to beat him now, David. He's got a huge lead, unless, of course, there's some mechanical failure. Checkered flag at the ready, out of the last corner. Hamilton is the winner for a tenth time this year. Vettel second, Adrian Zutil third, Marco Bononomi fourth ahead of Guido van der Garde and Frank Pereira. Kohai Hirati working up the order to finish in seventh after a poor qualifying, and then coming home in eighth was Guillaume Moro.
But it's Hamilton who now has the substantial lead at the head of the table.